stock cars roar. Victor Auto Raceway on the clay oval at the fairgrounds. Bump and run, son of a gun. DQ. Slamming, crashing, colliding. Expect it anytime. Watch your back when these drivers take to the track at Victorville Auto Raceway. The figure eight cap this Saturday night where spectators pass the hat for even bigger prize money for the winner. Danny Queener of Torrance raced to the victory in car number 30, beating runner-up points leader Randy Vogel in 747. Well, not good for top figure eight driver Jeff Singer at this race. It was great for the Husqvarna racer in Super Streets winning that event. What's the difference setting up your car for Super Streets compared to figure eight? Well, the figure eight car, we set it up neutral. Uh, we got to be able to turn left and right. Uh, Super Street's primarily, you know, all left, hopefully, and, uh, <laughs> you know, that's a, a totally different setup. Um, when I run both both uh, classes in the same night, the car's neutral all night long. I make minor adjustments, but uh, it's a big adjustment when I run just Super Street. It was a worse night for Street Stocks points leader Jason Andrews. He responded to Ken Gosnell's first turn nudge, spinning car seven around to take the checkered flag. The track officials disqualified Jason Andrews in car 26. You really didn't intend to spin him around on that last turn? No, I just intended just to bump him, and I guess I bumped him a little too hard and took him around. But that's racing. Tough break for his younger brother as well. On a wild night for street stocks, brother Kevin lost ground when a flat tire forced a pit stop. Are they going to call you off the track when you got a flat one? Uh, sometimes they do. Uh, it's my opinion that if they, uh, if you're keeping up with the speed of the track and you're not causing a hazard, you should be able to keep going around as long as you're not causing a hazard or a safety hazard. Anyway. My car was looking up pretty good. Bob's tire service uh, hooks me up with my tires. And don't look Richard, uh, my transmission, my mom and dad, they want quality painting. We're, we're all good, good team. We're going out family and friends. Family favorite, Lightning McQueen, also an off night for All-American Season Points leader, Jethro Blaylock. Victorville's Dan McGuire outran the McQueen car with his yellow and green 17. 10X driver Wayne Francis upset points leader Tony Kincaid of Apple Valley in IMCA modified. A lot of these hugged the wall trying to get close to photographers. In fact, Vince Porter was the only points leader to win his event this August night, outlacing the field in many stocks. What does it take week after week to climb to the top and stay there in any division? Well, uh, consistency is probably the biggest thing. I got to make sure uh, we're here and we're. Uh you know, competitive every week that uh, we run, um, and we got to have some luck. I mean, there's no doubt about it. The figure eight's a tough class. Uh, the intersection, you never know what's going to be there, you, and you hope everybody uh, has both their eyes open. Strategy for a points leader, especially when you got to start toward the back of the pack. Save the car, you get to the, just get to the front, pick them off one by one, and unfortunately, you got lost one at the end of the race last time track surface changes constantly. Yeah, it was a slick track. We weren't expecting it from the heat race. There was a lot of dry slick going on. And uh, we accidentally hit the setup we wanted to hit, but it worked for us. Drivers adjust each heat as the track changes. Yeah, definitely. Uh, totally 180 where we started already tonight. So, uh, And they're changing the track again now, so we're going to have to switch things up again. One constant, intense competition week after week at Victorville Auto Raceway. How intense? Call it road rage. This feud between many stocks drivers cost them both. It's just them harder boys doing what they do best, messing things up. John Aiden's up at the top in sprint cars. In Victorville, uh, this is pretty much the top of the ladder. On a track well prepped but slick in spots, a couple of sprint cars tangled up and tumbled. This midsummer's night was marred by caution flags and restarts. Cody Williams of Yorba Linda and Norco's Nadine Walker escaped unharmed, save frustration and disappointment. Walker, one of a number of girls challenging the guys, has various Jesse Souter in car 91 and Stacy Elderbaum in 81 among sport compact juniors or hornets contenders when the cracks just been watered it's a little it's kind of slippery but you just have to learn to tough it out and drive it out stacy one of three racing members of Asperia's elder bomb squad the team mind rage these sport compact juniors are ages 14 to 18. earlier this summer jesse Souter and stacy elder bomb crashed into the wall at victorville auto raceway is there any grudge match or rivalry or tension in this sorority bakersfield Billy Winchester took the checkered flag this night. 
Nothing friendly about this rivalry. Buddy Elderbaugh behind the eight ball getting nudged by Roger Harder's 74 in the mini stocks main. Both drivers disqualified. Just them Harder boys doing what they do best, messing things up. This pumping and grinding got both Harder and the elder member of the Elder Bomb Squad DQ'd this night. Next time, I'll just put my truck back together, go out there and do whatever I can do. I just, I go out there to have fun. I don't try and mess things up. But obviously, other people have different things on their agenda. John Aiden's agenda: win at any motor sport. The former speedway racer had to come from the middle of the pack to take the sprints. Checker well, you know, I started about sixth or eighth tonight, and uh, I, I felt to myself I was going backwards, so I had to smack myself upside the helmet and. Uh, get on the gas and go home so uh, I went to the top and it started working better and better for me and I ended up getting a win out of it. These sprints had a hundred miles an hour. Next door, wheel to wheel, Speedway bikes back August's first Saturday. Sprint cars and more circling the oval for season points. Last time, round and round, sidecar. Motorsports right up your alley. Check it out Saturday night's Victorville Auto Raceway at the fairgrounds.